My name is Patrick Mullen. I work for the Greenbelt Recreation Department, and with me today is my mother, Ellen. Hi. It's very weird to say her first name. <laughs> <laughs> and together, we are going to make banana nut bread. I thought that this banana nut bread recipe was like many generations old, but I, I think you said grandma made it? Is yeah. It? Yeah. yeah, yeah, grandma my made mother. it. Yeah. And um, we have this old recipe book here, and you'll see where my aunt Barbara, in beautiful cursive handwriting, wrote out this recipe. And everyone in the family at this point has their own variation on it. And today we're going to be making this one, which is my mother's variation. The best part of this recipe is, one, no artificial flavor. We're going to use real bananas for our banana nut bread. Um, and two, you can do everything, preparing it in one single bowl and pouring it into one single pan. So by the time you're done, there's not a lot of cleanup um, and you don't have to worry about separating out ingredients, no mixing wet ingredients over here, dry ingredients over here, or any of that. So with that being said, why don't we get started? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna mash the bananas. So when I was a kid, while she was busy prepping all of this, what she would have me do is cut up the walnuts. And I think it's because she wanted to keep me busy so that I didn't get into any trouble. Which he was always in. <laughs> so one of the things you'll see, uh, these bananas, they're, they're starting to turn. We like to use overripe bananas. Here you can see the sugars are already starting to liquefy the banana. So it makes it a little bit sweeter, uh, which is good because while this looks like a lot of sugar, it's really only a cup. And so the bread comes out, it's not too, too sweet. Um, but it's, it, it's, I love it. You'll, you'll see. Make it at home, you'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and mash. Is this the same masher I used as a kid? Yes. Was that my, it came from my mother's house. So you see, we're just mashing the bananas up. And if you have young kids, this is a fun thing for them to do too. So everyone in my family, we all make this recipe and we all make it all the time. If there's a holiday, if there's a, a gathering where we're all going to be there. Someone, and oftentimes multiple people, have made banana nut bread. And we have a little bit of, we'll say, friendly competition about whose is better. So Pat thinks his is the best. Well, I have to throw that in because you Because it's the best. What I do um, is I mash up the bananas and then I pour, this is one cup of just white granulated sugar. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in and I kind of spread it over the bananas. So what'll happen is sugar, which is considered a wet ingredient in baking, I recently learned this, thank you Great British Bake Off, will help liquefy the bananas. And that way, I believe, it's going to sort of evenly spread the this flavor through everything. This is what everything. you insist what makes yours the best. Here we go, and you can see as that banana is really starting to liquefy, and we're gonna mix that in there. And this is gonna become this great mixture. Mm. You see now how- Oh yes, it does. Yeah, how much, see? See? All right, I love Vindication, Greenbelt. <laughs> so, okay, from here, what are we gonna add? What do you wanna, what, what would you do Let's next? do the flour. Let's do the flour, okay. Vindication green. Well, first I have to taste it. I don't think... And we have video <laughs> proof. You have to taste it. Okay. We'll never hear the end of this, I can see. Baking powder. Three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Three and a half teaspoons. And I'm just gonna kind of shake that in. I want it evenly distributed. Next is a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. Now you put the oil. The oil. So it says salad oil. Does it matter? What is this corn oil? Is this yeah. canola oil? I don't know. Yeah. It's just some sort of... I just take vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. What mm -hmm. do they call it? A, a neutral oil. So we're adding a three quarters cup of milk. So this is going to take a little bit of time to incorporate. Right? You want me to stir? 
Do you want to stir? And then you can make the nuts. The shortcut, and also the thing that's cleaner, because we're not going to have to clean up a cutting board, is you just take your walnuts, you put them in like a plastic bag, and you take your handy dandy rolling pin, and we're going to put a crush and roll. I cut them up super, super fine. So it's almost like a, a coarse flour. Kelly, who's my sister, hi. I think uh, she and maybe Liz too, they tend to chop them up coarsely. So you'll get no. a little- Liz doesn't put, her children don't like nuts. So she puts chocolate chips in them. Chocolate chips? Yes. There's no accounting for taste. <laughs> you can always add chocolate chips if you feel like it. I'm a walnut guy. You ready to pour it in? Okay. I want you to know everybody at the pool, at the fitness center, they're like, so what are you doing once you've finished making the banana nut bread? They want you to bring it back. They want me to bring it in. Okay, kind of shake yep. it to level it out. Now, we're going to pop this in the oven. Yes. And it's going to bake at... 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. Yeah, it's a long, slow bake. So here we go. Pull this out and look at that. Perfect. Oh, it is lovely. Golden brown. You can put butter on it. You can put cream cheese on it. Pretty much any spread that you like, you can put on this. I'm just going to use a little bit of, just a little bit of softened butter here. Get that satisfying spread. Here you are. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's good. Moist. It's moist. Yeah, it's moist. It's a good banana nut bread. So I hope you get a chance to try this at home and I hope you enjoy it as much as our family does. And it becomes something that you make all the time.